My grandpa got this coin pouch in Costa Rica in the 60s. You can see a man playing marimbas and a man playing guitar. Let's take a look at all the coins. Here's a 1969 Canadian 10 cent, a 1971 penny, and a 1918 American dime. Here's the back of it. This is a 1979 coin from the Philippines, 1969 coin from the Bahamas, another one, and a 1948 coin from Costa Rica. Here's a Swiss coin from 1961, another Swiss coin from 1968, a 1970 coin from Luxembourg, and a 1951 Belgium coin. 1969 Italy, an Italian coin from 1966, and two more coins, 1967 and 1954. These next ones I'm going to need help with. I'm pretty sure they're from the Soviet Union, but I could be wrong. This one's 1965. The next one is 1965 as well. This is also 1965. This one's for sure Soviet Union. And that's dated 1961. 1962. This one is also 1962. And the next one is also 1962. Here's a coin from Hong Kong, 1982, with freaking Queen Elizabeth on the back. Pretty sure this next one is 1955, but I don't know the country of origin. I don't know the date or country on this one either. These next coins are from the Middle East but I do not know which countries they are. They all have the crescent and star. This one's 1964. Next one's 1967. Next one is 1970. Next one is 1960. Next one is 1970. Next one does not have a date on it. The square one is 1961, and I think it's Pakistan, and this is also 1961. Out of all these coins, I'm pretty sure the 1918 American dime is worth something, and maybe the Soviet Union coins are worth something. I'm not sure, but the history is cool, and I'd like to know the origins of all the coins if I can. My grandpa dodged the Vietnam draft with his brother and decided to travel the world and create peace and love instead of violence. And he had quite the journey, obviously. All right. Thanks, guys.